Hey, Alan here from Benchfly, and today we're going to set up an aspiration system in the hood, complete with secondary containment. To do this, you're going to need tubing, standard 5 mil pipettes, some rubber stoppers, a filter, some vacuum grease, some parafilm, a pipette tip, and of course, two sidearm flasks. To ensure that we set up all of the connections in our aspiration system properly, we're going to keep it simple and start at the actual vacuum nozzle in the hood and build the system out from here. The first piece of equipment we're going to need is a three or four inch piece of tubing. To prevent any particulate from getting pulled into the house vac system, we're going to add this sterile filter. The next connection then is another piece of tubing. Okay, and now we're ready for our first of the two flasks that are gonna make our aspiration system. Because we're building our system from the wall out, the first flask we're gonna add is actually our secondary containment flask. To connect the secondary containment flask to our vacuum line, you wanna connect it at the sidearm, not through the top, at the sidearm. Regardless of which flask you're talking about, primary or secondary containment, you always want to have the liquid being drawn through the top and the vacuum being pulled out of the flask through the sidearm. Next we need to build a small piece of equipment that's going to get us from our secondary containment into our primary containment. And to do this, we're going to use a rubber stopper, our 5 mil pipette, and a piece of tubing. Now, although the rubber stopper themselves will have a hole pre-drilled, it sometimes helps to add a little vacuum grease to make it easier to get the pipette into the stopper. Once it's in, you can use scissors to trim the ends, and then add a small amount of parafilm to one end. This will help create a nice seal between the pipette and the tubing. In the final step, simply insert the pipette into the tubing and your apparatus is complete. Now that our secondary containment is in place, we want to connect it to our primary containment. And again, just like in our secondary, we want to focus on connecting this to the sidearm, not the top. To complete our aspiration system, we want to build our final piece, which looks exactly like the piece that we inserted into our secondary containment. It uses a stopper, 5 mil pipette, and tubing. And in this case, it's important to remember that there should be a pretty long piece of tubing here, since this is the actual piece that's going to be used in your daily workflow in the hood. To create an adapter that will go from your tubing to the glass pipette you'll use in the hood, you can start with a P1000 pipette tip and using scissors, cut off the narrowing part of the tip. Then wrap the tip in some parafilm, which will help create a nice seal between the tip and the tubing. Once wrapped, insert the tip into the tubing with the cut side first so that it's inside of the tubing. This then allows for a nice snug fit between a glass pipette and the tip. To complete the apparatus, simply push the pipette into the tubing and you're ready to use it. Now that you've completed your aspiration system, the final step is to just reorganize the bottles in the hood so you can maximize the workspace that you'll have later on. So there you have it, an aspiration system with secondary containment that's built from objects that are relatively inexpensive.